Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an organizing video. I am in our guest room right now and we don't have a lot of storage in this house. So a lot of our stuff is in this guest bedroom closet. So I need to go through all that stuff. We have baby stuff that Logan has outgrown that is like all throughout our house. I have a jumper downstairs in the living room that he hasn't been in in, in like six months. So I'm going to get all of our baby stuff and organize it in that closet. I might go through some of it and try to get rid of it. Our neighborhood is having um, a neighborhood garage sale this weekend. So I want to participate in that. I'm not sure if we're going to because it's Philip's birthday weekend, but I'm going to package it all together um, just in case on a whim we decide to do it. Um, if not, I'll just save all of it probably in the garage until we can do another garage sale. So I'm going to work on this closet first because it has the most stuff in it. And then I'm going to work on Logan's closet, his room's next door. Um, a lot of his clothes and stuff is in our room. We have a changing table in our room. Um, so I'm going to move his clothes from our room into his room. I'm going to hang them up. So I'm going to work on the two closets today and then go through the baby stuff. Okay. I'm back now. Morgan needed some help going to the bathroom. Okay, so I was saying that um, I'm probably going to clean along the way, and then um, I'm going to start by just pulling everything out of this closet. I'm going to put probably everything on the bed and make a huge mess, just so I can see what all we have. And I might, um, I might switch some stuff around. I don't know if I'm going to keep everything in this closet, or I'm going to try to put some in the attic or something, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here is all the stuff that I pulled out. Um, I didn't pull out all of it actually because it didn't need to be pulled out. All of this stuff is kind of already organized and it's all of uh, Philip's stuff so I can't really go through it and clean it out. He um, has a lot of hobbies so it's like fishing stuff, hunting stuff, camping stuff. We have his ski stuff. Um, so. All of this stuff has to stay in here. But from the stuff that I did pull out, I'm gonna go through all these picture frames because they've been sitting in this closet ever since we moved in. I didn't wanna hang them up again like I did in our apartment just because my decor kinda changes changed since then. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the pictures out, save the pictures, get probably get rid of the frames. Um, and then we have some extra sheets in here. And um, this is the canopy to Logan's baby bed that we're not using anymore. I need to figure out how to collapse that a little bit better. I think I'm just gonna get rid of these lamps. We don't need them, we don't use them. Not a fan of the rooster lamp. Um, I need to put this back in there. There's some papers over there that Philip needs to go through. Um, and then I, I need to put this other ski stuff back into his little ski box. So, um, now that I'm going through it all though, I remember why I had it all in this closet because I just didn't know what to do with it. I didn't really want to get rid of these frames, but I also didn't want to hang them up. Um, Philip didn't want me to get 
rid of the lamps, but I think it's time to part with those because we really don't need them anymore. And then we have some random like decor items and other things that we don't want to get rid of yet, but also don't know what to do with. I think we have like this is a willow tree cake topper. These are willow trees. I think what I'm going to do with those is get a um, little shelf to hang on the wall in here and put those up on that. And then that little coffee grinder thing came from Philip's grandfather. I had it out, but then we got rid of the dresser that it was on. So that's my sewing stuff. I can't put that down because I don't have like a desk or anything for it. Um, and then those blankets, we're going to keep those for now. One was from our honeymoon. One was like Philip's little kid blanket or something. So anyways, I still need to go through our baby stuff. Like this is our bassinet. We're not ready to get rid of that stuff yet because we might have another baby. Not sure on that, but I really don't want to get rid of it just in case. So we don't have to rebuy all that stuff. So I'm going to start going through this stuff on the bed a little bit better and like put that air mattress back and then I'm going to make a pile of the stuff that we're going to either donate or sell and then yeah so let's do that. To my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me. I try to change it all. But look at us now. Okay, I put some of this stuff back in there, put that bag up, put that stuff back in, and then this is my donating slash garage sale pile. I took all the pictures out of the frames, the frames and that book or in that box, that baby mat, that sign back there. I think we're all, we're going to get rid of all of that because we don't need it. This I'm going to take and hang in our room. I used to put this above our bed and when we painted our room, I took it down. So I'm going to put that back up. I decided to keep these frames right here, um, I think what I'm gonna do is print out some pictures of the kids and then hang these in their rooms. And then I wanna keep this. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I wanna put it. I was kinda thinking about putting it in this room. So, oh, and then that picture that down there we're keeping. Um, so I started moving a couple things to Logan's room. This box right here, I went through um, some of their toys the other day to donate. So that's what's in there. I'm going to try to put some more stuff in there because um, there's a couple more things I need to go through. I pulled some stuff out of Logan's closet. This bouncer was in there. Um, this walker was in there. This Texas thing was in there. I need, I've been hanging on to that. I'm going to hang it in this room. I just, as you can see, let me show you his room. Logan doesn't sleep in here, so our bike is here. We use this to do, well, Philip uses this to do Peloton classes. I don't use it. Um, I put this baby gate around it so Logan, when the kids are in here, um, 
they won't play on the bike. So his room is like a complete disaster. It's not actually a nursery. Um, so I'm trying to make it more into a nursery. I want to put all of his clothes in here. We have some, most of that like doesn't fit too small, too big. Some of it's hung up right here. All of that is too small now. More hobbies, more hobby stuff for my husband. There's more fishing, hunting, golf balls that blows up our air mattress. Um, I think there's books in here of Phillips. That's our little wireless router we just bought. I need to keep the box for that. This is a picture frame I've never put up. This is a pack and play I want to keep. This is his dock tot that he doesn't use anymore. He grew out of. So a lot of this stuff we have to keep. Um, so I'm trying, and this closet is so tiny. Look how tiny it is. Um, so that's why most of the stuff is in that other closet. I also need to put up, he outgrew his little infant car seat and we have two bases for that. So I need to figure out where to put that. Um, but it's big and I have to put like all this other stuff. I haven't even put this swing in his closet. So this house just doesn't have enough storage. I don't know where to put it all. We have stuff in our attic right now, but because it's Texas, he is knocking everything over. <laughs> because it's Texas, everything is so humid and we can't really put stuff in the attic because it'll just like get bad. What do you need, buddy? I think it's time for his nap, so. I think we're gonna pause here. Get this buddy to take a nap. And I'll come back um, and start cleaning his out. Could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now. This is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same So right now I'm just going through the clothes that we had for Logan that were in our bedroom I'm creating a pile of clothes that doesn't fit him anymore. I'm also creating another pile of keepsake clothes. Um, with Morgan, I kept a couple of outfits that were my favorite of hers, um, so I could just kind of look back on those and um, remember when she wore that outfit. So I'm making a keepsake pile, making a pile that's he can't wear anymore, and then I'm going to either put away or hang up all of the clothes that he currently is wearing. Now I am putting away his shorts, his pants, and pajamas. I want to keep everything in the top drawer for easy access. I also decided to fold everything and set it upright so when I reach into there, things aren't stacked up on top of each other and I'm able to see everything that's in the drawer. I also started hanging the clothes up by season so I have long sleeve stuff that he will wear as soon as it gets cold here and I also hung up all of his t-shirts in one section and then onesies in one section. And I also um, organized most of these by color. Okay, I'm not totally done yet because um, I need to go through some of his old clothes. I just don't have a box to put any of his old clothes in. So I actually need to get a couple of boxes to store some stuff and then also boxes to get rid of some stuff. But I wanted to go ahead and show you what I did. I haven't put this in the closet because I cannot take it apart. I need Philip's help with that. But I took all these old clothes out, gonna put those in a box, put the infant carrier, oh, these pants got put right there. Um, infant carrier, bouncer, that's the canopy for his bed. These are clothes that are too big for him right now. These are like 18 months. This outfit is a 2T. Um, and then I put his little suspenders right here because I wanted to get those out. I also hung up all of these. He's got some shirts right here. These are all of his onesies that currently fit him. He's got second child problems because he doesn't have very many clothes. Um, 
but I decided to hang up the onesies because I'm a person that needs to see things. If it's in a drawer, I like don't want to have to go through it. So put all his onesies right there. These are all his cold clothes. Um, he just got these for his birthday. So these are a 12 month size. So he'll be in those as soon as it gets cold here. I cleaned up this. Um, this has some keepsake stuff in it. <laughs> this top drawer, I did his pajamas. These are his shorts. These are his pants. He needs like a lot more clothes. Um, and then these bottom two drawers have clothes that just do not fit him anymore. So I saved all of Morgan's old clothes. They're in her closet. Um, so I'd like to take these out, put them in a box, and save those in case we have another baby. But now he's gonna mess everything up. So I'm gonna package all those up. And then I left these, these are the bases for the infant carrier. Because they're plastic, I decided I'm just gonna put these in the attic. So I'm gonna leave those right there and ask for Philip's help to put those in the attic. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I would love to have a dresser in there so I can get rid of the plastic thing, but it works for now. Uh, Are you gonna eat your hospital bracelet? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Say bye bye. Uh, okay, so I have a little bit of time left. Um, it's only like 3.30, I think. Um, so I am going to clean underneath my sink and clean our bathroom drawers because I desperately need to. A couple weeks ago, we had to take everything out from underneath my sink to fix the drain. So I need to get in there and reorganize all of it. I also bought a couple little um, organizing things from Target. I didn't get much because I wasn't exactly sure what size I needed, but I got this little one and these skinny ones um, that came in a three pack. So hopefully these will work for our drawers so I can organize them a little better. So let's get started on that. Okay, this is what this drawer looks like. You can see that needs a lot of help. It used to be organized and we've just kind of thrown some stuff in there. We keep having to put more things into drawers because the kids like will climb up on the counter and get into stuff. And like so many things in the bathroom are not kid friendly. So this drawer also so awful. I'm like embarrassed because I'm such an yeah. organized person. Yeah. <laughs> but the kids get into this. Like Logan dumped out all of those Q-tips. So I need to fix that. This one is a complete disaster too. I don't know what to do with his watches. I'm not even sure this one works anymore. Well, I guess that's my watch. But um, I don't know where to store some of this stuff because I can't just keep it out on the counter. We don't have a jewelry box, so. Morgan. <laughs> I am cracking up right now because, oh my gosh, this is such like real life stuff. I feel like I don't even know if I have all the footage that I want to have because the kids are like all over me and all up in my business. But I really wanted to get this project done, so I'm hoping that this all works out. Now I feel like I'm gonna like have a mental breakdown. <laughs> I'm so tired. Also, Logan didn't sleep well last night, like at all. So I'm really tired, but hopefully I can get this project done. If I don't have any footage because the kids won't leave my camera alone, then I'm gonna make sure to take some before and after pictures and hopefully that will be inspirational to you. <laughs> Strange. 
strangers again, again, again Like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same Like strangers again So this drawer, oh, I was gonna move this. So here's like our deodorants, um, my perfume, which I hardly ever wear, but I do wear that sometimes. Um, vitamins, there's all our toiletries when we go out of town. This is funny, this is our um, extra toothbrushes. These are actually for the dogs. We've been brushing one of my dog's teeth. Um, so denture cleaner because Philip and I both have retainers so we clean our retainers with that every day um, and then this is our little toothbrush holder some aloe vera and then I put the um, cotton balls and uh, q-tips in there I did have them in the second drawer but I thought it was a better idea to put them down here because that way we're opening this drawer a lot more because it has like our hair stuff in it. And the kids like always play in this drawer when I have it open. So keeping it down here to keep the kids from messing with it all the time. And I ended up throwing away all of our baby cotton swabs because I realized we don't even use those anymore. And it was just like making a mess. All the kids did were play with them. Okay, this drawer too. This was the worst. It had all of the Q-tips in it and they were just like spread out everywhere. All of her rubber bands were everywhere because they spilled them. So these are our, the kids like brushes and combs. And then here's my ponytails. I actually put this clip around it because that way they like stay together. So that worked out. And then here's Morgan's rubber bands. They have the package they come in actually, it comes in like this little plastic already. So I just kept it in there. So we have that. I keep some bobby pins in here. Um, that just keeps it better. And like sometimes I'll put this in my purse if I need to keep bobby pins on me. And we've got some clips and more bobby pins. This is my little um, makeup remover wipes I put in here. It's empty right now, but this has a couple of, uh, actually it just has watch bands in it for Philips. Nice watch, it, you can switch out the band. So that's in there. And this one is all of our like toothpaste stuff. This drawer was out of control too because we throw a lot of stuff in here like when we're trying to get stuff away from the kids. So basically I keep my, um, these are like my prenatals. I'm still taking them because I'm nursing. So I have to keep this in the top drawer because if I don't, I'll forget about it and I can't keep it on the counter because the kids will get into it and it's not kid proof. So. Um, this is like our <laughs> more denture cleaner up here for easy access. And then these are all of our replacement. We have the um, electric toothbrush. So that's all that. Okay, this is under my sink. And oh my gosh, it was like full of stuff. I just kept throwing things under here. We had a random bowl under here because my sink, uh, we were worried about it leaking. So anyways, I showed you a little bit <clears throat> of this earlier, but here's all my hair tools. This is like kids medicine. We have extra body wash, um, lotion because we have to keep that away from the kids. This is Morgan's, um, mouthwash. These are my makeup mirrors. I like to keep these like easy access. Um, my makeup bag's downstairs right now cause I was doing my makeup downstairs, but I normally keep my makeup bag like right here. So I'll grab the mirror, my makeup bag, my jewelry's in there. That's my toiletry bag. Um, a couple face hair products. These are my Billy razors and then my jewelry cleaner. Oh, and my palettes. I showed you that earlier, but anyways. That looks so much better. This was like really stressing me out because I like to have all my stuff organized um, and it was just getting out of control. So I feel much better about that. Okay, so that's all for today's video. I hope um, 
that was helpful or like cleansing for you to see me cleaning out all of our junk. I still do have to go through some of it, um, like the baby stuff. We need to make some decisions on if we're going to keep it or not. Um, and then we have a couple things that I need Philip to take apart slash put in the attic. So we're not completely done. Um, but I feel a lot better because when things like when I know things are cluttered, it just like stresses me out all the time. And I was just telling my sister yesterday that I, um, did spring cleaning like crazy in the spring. This like, I don't always do that, but I clean, like we cleaned our closet out. I cleaned Morgan's closet out. I went through all of her clothes that didn't fit her anymore and organized all of that. Um, so I did a lot and I, I cleaned out both of those closets too this spring and they already were out of control again. Um, and like I cleaned out our pantry. So, uh, I just actually cleaned out our pantry last night again, which I should have filmed it, but I kind of just did it like randomly after dinner. So I think just with us being so busy, it's hard to keep things clean. So we just throw things back, um, instead of like specifically putting it where it goes which is totally fine like you don't have to be perfect all the time but um it just sometimes it gets out of control so i guess i need to do spring cleaning and fall cleaning um because it it really does once i do like a deep organization clean um it doesn't last more than just a couple months so anyways I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.